Right, so I'm in this stage one of your barrels. I've just rubbed them all back down. And at the moment, they're like chrome. So, just turn it over. I was going to try and... Um, uh, I was going to try and clean the... Uh, get on macro on there so that you could uh, see roughly because you have got some pitting on your barrels nothing to worry about you know um, you can't see it here but you have got a little bit it's mainly on this bottom barrel but it's very minute but you uh, I can't keep rubbing it down as I've nothing left there I've taken your ejectors out. There's a load of. Let's get it in focus if I can, mate. There's a load. There was a load of crud in there. I managed to get that out. All your little bits and bobs. Sorry about the camera going all over the place. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not used to doing videoing. All your bits and bibs and bobs. Try and get some light under it are in there, all your little screws in. I'll clean them up later and your springs um, when I've done your barrels because um, there's some tiny little stuff in there and it's got a lot of crud around it and it all it all adds to it not working properly so anyway they are, there it is Simon, I've got them, got them done for you to that point um, what's the time? now 10 to 10 in the evening Saturday. Um, I've got the heater on in here so I'm not going to oil them up. I've only got to clean them off again tomorrow. So I'll start blackening the barrels tomorrow. All being well. So with that I'm going to leave it there for the night and um, I'll um, start again tomorrow morning. Actually I'm quite, considering the age of the barrels, I'm quite, quite pleased with how, how well they have actually come up. But um, can't do a lot about your um, your bead here. I've, I've I've wiped it off. That that red stuff came off with the um, thinners that I was using in the first place, just to get rid of all the grease. But you can always touch it up with a bit of nail varnish or something. Um, you don't want anything that shines too much on it. Um, and there you go. There's, there's a bit of crud, there's a bit of crud in here. I'll get this little bit, let's get my screwdriver, in here, this is where there was, I'm trying to get it in focus really, in there is where, um, where you blew the, try to blew the barrels last time, you've got a little bit of build up of rust or something, but I can clean all that up, I've taken these little screws out, and the ejectors here, I should blow through these holes, you've got down here, got an ejector hole, um, these I think are just oil holes um, I've rubbed this down a bit because that was full of crud up in there it's a right little dirt trap up in there and you've got a tiny little um, lugget that goes up in there and then you push it up there against the spring then you can put your um, your little screw back in there but um, I can only use, I've, I've had to make these screwdrivers myself these, these three here they're, they're, they're particularly just, just four guns um, I've actually made them so they fit the, the screws on guns. Um, so, there we go, mate. That's uh, stage one. Have a go at stage two tomorrow, mate. I'm going to put this up on your um, Facebook page, see if it, uh, you know, and uh, I might have to ring you to let you know that it's up there. Catch you later, mate.